Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good, Good morning, morning Bulldogs. Bulldogs. My name is Isaac Glover. And I'm Kyla Lipscomb. And, and welcome, welcome to, to BHS TV. Here are your morning announcements for today, Thursday, February 20th, 2020. Congratulations to our cheer squad who competed this past weekend at the United Spirit Association's Cheerleading Nationals in Anaheim, California. Our first freshman team ever took home a third place finish to the, in their division. The competition had scores from eight states and over 400 teams collectively. Congratulations, ladies. February marks Black History Month, a tribute to African American men and women who have made significant contributions to, to American and the rest of the world in the fields of science, politics, law, sports, the arts, entertainment, and many other fields. Today we take a closer look at the life of Jackie Robinson, who was an American professional baseball player, who became the first African American to play in Major League Baseball in the modern era. Jackie Robinson was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1962. Born January 31, 1919, in Cairo, Georgia, Jack Roosevelt Robinson was the youngest of five siblings. He followed his older brother Mac into athletics. Mac went off and he competed in the 1936 Olympics. This is an athlete who had won a medal under the eye of Adolf Hitler. He came back to Pasadena and Mac Robinson could only find work as a garbage man. That's something that Jackie Robinson never forget. Robinson was a star athlete at Pasadena Junior College and became the first UCLA student to win varsity letters in four sports, basketball, football, track, and baseball. He was a local tennis champion. He was a local football stud. He was a great track star. Well, Jackie Robinson, baseball was really almost the last thing he was great at. He was great at everything. He could have done anything. While in the Army, Robinson was arrested for refusing to move to the back of a segregated bus. Robinson fought a court-martial and was eventually given an honorable discharge. Jackie Robinson was sick and tired of the U.S. Army, and the U.S. Army felt that they had a problem on their hands with Lieutenant Robinson, so they uh, agreed that he would be honorably discharged. With the Negro Leagues as his only opportunity to play professional baseball, Robinson joined the Kansas City Monarchs in 1945. That same year, he was given a life-changing invitation by Branch Rickey of the Brooklyn Dodgers. There were players in the Negro League that were just as good, if not better, than Jackie Robinson. But Branch Rickey understood that he needed more than just a superb baseball player. He needed someone who had flawless and impeccable character, and he found that person in Jackie Robinson. Despite harsh opposition, Robinson was selected as the first rookie of the year became the first man in the league in 26 years to steal his way around the bases. And in 1955, he helped the Brooklyn Dodgers win the World Series against the New York Yankees. The valor with which Jackie Robinson responded to the jeers and the hatred and the bigoted remarks in the catcalls is one of the great silent portraits in American history. Under that hail of threats and epithets, he would walk into the batter's box and you know, about a little over the third of the time, because I believe he batted a 330 something that year, he'd get a hit. That's what he did. He certainly didn't cower. He certainly didn't flinch. And there were a lot of bean balls thrown at him. Jackie Robinson wasn't just a great symbol. He was a great baseball player. He led the Brooklyn Dodgers to six pennants when he was there. This is a Brooklyn Dodger team that was called the Bums, because they couldn't win. Jackie Robinson led them, and part of it was his fire. His fire kept them going. Shortly after being traded to the New York Giants, Robinson retired from baseball in 1957 and became a business executive. After Jackie Robinson left baseball, his fight wasn't over. I mean, he continued to fight for civil rights. He was a member of the NAACP's upper management campaign for them, campaign with Dr. King uh, to try and integrate a lot of America. Also, you know, opened up a bank in Harlem. I mean, this was a guy who this meant more to him than just his legacy as a baseball player. He was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1962 and later died from a heart attack on October 24, 1972. In 2005, Jackie Robinson was honored with the Congressional Gold Medal.
The story of Jackie Robinson changed the literal complexion of the game. It changed the complexion of images that we saw in black and white photos in newspapers and on television. It put a black man at the center of the story of America. And I think we've been an imperfect but infinitely better society ever since. Our VHS dance program is having their very own senior showcase. It will be held tomorrow, Friday, February 21st in the VHS Wolfson Auditorium at 7 p.m. You can buy tickets from any Unleashed or Dance 3 member for $5 pre-sale and $10 at the door. Watch the hard work that has paid off for all these seniors. Don't miss this amazing opportunity to support your senior classmates, friends, and the dance program. Attention all seniors. Grad night tickets are on sale now. Present your proper completed permission slip and conduct agreement forms with your payment of $200 at the finance window before school and during lunch. Keep your receipt as proof of purchase. If you still need the grad night forms, stop by room 1301 before school, during lunch and after lunch and pick up a packet. <laughs> Are you interested in being a BHS cheerleader for the 2020 through 2021 school year? Pick up a packet uh, in room 106 for Ms. Burkhart. You must have a current valid physical and a completed trial packet turned in by March 31st. Workshops will be held in April. No late packets will be accepted. Attention all seniors! Your non-SSN GPAs have been electronically submitted to Cal Grant website back in September. In order to receive Cal Grant allocations, please update your information by visiting your FAFSA CA Dream Act website for your GPA verifications. If you have not created a web grant account, you must create one. Confirm and update your information, the school of attendance, or make a school change to claim your Cal Grant award. Please make sure your information is entered correctly to avoid any delays or issues re to receive your awards. Attention all seniors, in order to once again host graduation on our campus this year, we are asking that every senior directly contribute $50 to Burbank High School with the hopes of raising enough money. There has been a PayPal account created at paypal.me slash 2020BHS where donations are being taken at the finance office. Please make any planned donations as soon as possible as the decision for the ceremony's location will, be, will have to be made soon. We must raise most of this money soon in order to make this happen for our 2020 senior class. In the event we come up short of our goal, donations can be refunded or applied to other senior events such as prom. In Career Center News, are you a senior interested in attending Glendale Community College in the fall? If so, sign up for the Early College Sentence Program with Mrs. Armiance. There will be an application workshop for GCC taking place today, Thursday, February 20th. Students who sign up will have the opportunity to attend a field trip Compete all the necessary steps to ensure priority registration and qualify for a $500 book voucher for fall and spring. If you want to sign up or have questions, please see Mrs. Armiance in the College and Career Center for today. CTE Day is coming. Plan on going to the large gym with your teacher either period 3 or period 4 and open during lunch tomorrow, Friday, February 21st. Find out about a variety of career paths from police, fire, cosmetology, fashion, medical engineering, business, apprenticeships, community colleges, trade schools, and some four-year colleges. Don't miss out. Learn about the opportunities available for you after high school. Attention seniors. If you are a graduating high school senior and have a passion for business entertainment, the Warner Brothers REACH program is looking to award internship scholarship packages known as honorships for seniors who qualify. Successful REACH graduates are eligible for full-time positions at Warner Brothers after completing their degrees. Please go to the Career Center for more information. Don't miss out on this amazing opportunity. The application deadline is this coming Monday, February 24, 2020. The City of Burbank Youth Employment Program will soon be hiring for the summer 2020. The BEST program hires experienced students between the ages of 18 through 21, and the CREST program hires students with no experience necessary between the ages of 16 and 17. Applications are now being accepted and the deadline to turn them in is on March 13th at 5 p.m. To apply, visit, visit the city's website, burbankca.gov. 
Hello, I'm Kiara Jackson and I am one of the chairwomen of the new Equity Committee. The Equity Committee is established to promote a healthy school environment for all students from any backgrounds, as well as fight against prejudices such as homophobia, transphobia, and racism. If you are interested in joining to make this school a better learning environment, then please ask your teacher to check their email for Mr. Crowther for a link by March 4th. Good morning, Good morning Bulldogs. Bulldogs. My name is Victor. And my name is Ariel. And this Here's is your ASB, ASB update. update. Seniors, make sure to grab your grad eye permission slip from Mr. Mercado's room 1301. Ticket sales have started. You can purchase your tickets from the finance window, cash only. This year, Powder Puff will be junior versus senior, and all interested girls must come to the mandatory meeting today, Thursday 20th, at lunch in the big gym. And, and that's that is it, it for, for your ASB, ASB update. update. In sports news, the boys' golf team is hosting a pancake breakfast fundraiser on Sunday, March 1st, from 8.30 to 12.30, at the Veterans of Foreign Wars, located at... 1006 West Magnolia Boulevard in Burbank. Tickets are $10 per person. You may purchase tickets from any member of the golf team. Okay, Bulldogs, that's it for today's BHS TV video announcement. On behalf of the cast and crew of BHS TV, thank you for watching. And, and always, always remember, remember, it's still, still great, great to be a Bulldog. Be a bulldog.